In this portion of the video, we're going to show how, again, knee position, placement of the hoof stand, and showing you how comfortable the horse is and how much safer I am while I nail the shoe on. In the conventional way, when we nail a shoe on and have it between our knees, I watch farriers and there's like sometimes as least as three quarters of an inch clearance before if that horse reacts at all, you're going to be taking a nail right through your shafts, no matter how thin they are. And also if the horse gets reactive again, he can leave and he doesn't take me with him. Again, horse is comfortable. Gusset is pointed away from me. Now this is the only time in the shoeing procedure that I might put the foot out just a little bit further away from me in the hoof cradle to get clearance for my nail and pounding. But I'm supporting it with my other hand. Nice place to store your nails, whether used or unused. Customers don't like those points left on the ground. You just take them off, stick them right there on the magnet. Again, directly out in front of the horse, not too high for them, not too far away. Go ahead and demonstrate again on the hind here, how I nail the hind. Have the horse so much more comfortable, me safer. I don't know about you folks, but I sure don't like a nail on my leg. Again, why I'm able to achieve this is because we have this airspace under the webbing and it's not a hard cup cradle. Still go back to the way I learned it 32 years ago, starting. And again, we can play it's Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Your back's killing you. You don't want to drop that foot. Stand up. Take a little bit of a stretch. And I've really noticed what a difference it makes if I can just rest my back just a minute like this. Do the seventh inning stretch and go back to work without having to drop the foot. Picking it up and starting all over.
and just sliding it with my knee out a little bit to get a little bit more clearance. And there we go. Again, I found that when I had my old uh, dangerous plow disc with the uh, straight post welded on it that was one height, that it really didn't, uh, one size does not fit all. Different breeds of horses and different disciplines over the years develop different range of motions. And I found that lots of times horses get reactive when we ask them to go beyond that range of motion. Again, we want the then we're to be comfortable. As I bring this up, I find right in here, it's a little bit higher than what he wants to be. So I'll only ask him to do that for a second. I can just simply unscrew the tension knob, take it down to where I feel the muscles start to relax, and that horse is comfortable now. A course is a course. Instructional video available online at hoofjack.com.